everyone! Welcome back to Gussied Up. My name is Kirsten. If this is your first time joining me, thanks so much for being here. The goal behind Gussied Up is to make beauty accessible to everyone, especially the average humans. So if that sounds like something that you would appreciate, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and we can get Gussied Up together. So today we are going to be doing a smoky eye look. We are going to be doing using a black instead of a brown smoky eye today. Um, I did receive that as a request from Lori and Tammy. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first product that I'm going to be using today is the Pro To Fit Eyeshadow Primer by Pharmacy. Again, cute uh, pot primer, goes on like a dream. I like, especially because I'm going to be doing a more severe eye look, I'm going to be bringing that primer all the way up to the brow bone. And again, I prefer primer over a concealer because unless you find a really, really great concealer, um, most concealers have oils in them and they will crease over time. So I definitely recommend a primer. I'm going to be using both the Iconic and Glam Up palettes by Pharmacy. So the Glam Up palette is the Nude palette, and the Iconic palette is their more bold palette. And in the bold Iconic, you can see that their black truffle is a black shimmer. And in Pharmacy, they have the gorgeous Noir, which is matte. So we're going to be using we're going to be putting our look together between the two of these palettes. To get started, I'm going to go in with the Glam Up palette in the shade Dusty Rose. And I have a um, full blending brush that I'm going to be using. And we're just going to go and add that directly above the crease. Now if you don't have a soft pink like this, you can also use any really soft cream. Um, anything like that is going to work. I just decided that I was going to do a little bit of a pink base. Give myself some color. And I'm just going to bring that pretty close to the brow bone. Once you've got that down, we're going to go in with the shade Noir or any black matte that you have. And I have a flat packing brush here. And I'm just going to pick up color and tap off any excess to avoid as much fallout as possible. And now what we're going to do is you are going to tap this onto the lid. And we're going to bring this, like I said, all the way across the lid. And once you have that down, you're going to go in with a tapered blending brush. This one is a pretty thin one, and I'm just going to pick up a little of that black. And we're just going to go into the crease and start building out that edge. So you're just going to go in with a little bit of black, not too much. Start from where the lid is and just gradually start pulling out. As you can see, we're starting to get more color up over the crease, but it's not a really harsh line and that's our goal. Once you get to that point where you have a pretty good 
base of color. You can not pick up any more, tap off if you think you have any excess, and all we're going to do is slowly work the color up. And there we go. Now, if you have a clean blending brush, you can just go around the edges and that's going to help soften up and make a really nice soft blend from dark and heavy to nice and pretty. And if you feel that's really, really dark still, you can go back in with your cream shade and add a little of that, a little of that, a little of that to the outer edge. There you go. And then, once you've completed that part, you can go back in with your flat packing brush and just pack more color onto the, your lid if you feel like you've lost some of the opaqueness. Another option that you can do is you can go in with the shade Black Truffle or a black shimmery shade. And you could achieve the same by just adding a little bit of that shimmer on the top. And then again, if you'd like to, just cleaning my brush. Actually, I'm going to show you guys this. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. You just wipe your brushes on them, and then if you need to, you can um, switch colors in between. Now, I do like to do a matte, matte black underneath the, um, a matte black under the shimmery black, just because the mattes have a tendency to be more opaque. Um, opaque is correct, right? They have a tendency to be more, less see-through. There we go, whatever. <laughs> so that is how easy a smoky eye look is. Right now, it still looks really, really scary, but the main thing is, once you get lashes on especially, it's going to look a little better. Um, I am a person that I cannot get lashes on to save my life, so I just like to go in with the Extreme Curl Mascara by Pharmacy as well. And a tip for you is, you can see on this brush that there is so much product, it is gunked. So I just like to scrape off any additional product. Not only will you not get clumpy lashes that way, but you also will be saving product over time. And that just means you get to use your mascara for longer, you know, potentially longer than the shelf life, but that's fine. <laughs> and I like to go in and wiggle the lashes. And you can already tell just by a couple strokes of mascara, you can see that definition between not having mascara on and having mascara and there's a huge difference it already starts to look put together i like to make pay extra attention to the outer corner
and there you go. I like to just take a little spoolie and brush out my brow. I actually am in the process of moving and I think I packed my brow pomade. So normally I would do my brows right now. Um, but instead, later on, I will use the clear brow gel. For highlight, I am going to go in with the Pharmacy Rose Flash Highlight Stick. And I like to just add that straight to the brow bone and then tap it in. Brush any extra that you might get in your brow. You can also add a little bit of this to the inner corner by picking up a small packing brush. And just pop a little bit of that on the inner corner and look at you go. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye and then I will be right back. All right, and we are back. So now that we are done with both of the eyes, this is what it came out to. I think I am going to end up doing brows. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Glam Up palette with the shade Ashes, which is this brown right here. And I have this brow brush. I think I'm just going to see how this works as a brow filler. There we go, not too shabby. So when you do your brows, it's really easy with powder. It does fill them in a lot more, so it's not necessarily as natural looking as maybe a pomade or a pencil, but that's okay. Clearly, my eyelids aren't black, so. At least not like this. <laughs> the under eye might be black and blue from lack of sleep and who knows what else other than maybe genetics. <laughs> Here we go. And we're just, after you put in the powder, you're just going to really nicely um, brush through them as that will help re like remove any excess powder that there might be, but it'll also bring your brows back to the shape that you want them to be. All right, now because I want my brows to stay in place, I am going to go in with Pharmacy's Clear Be Fit Clear Brow Gel. Sorry, I just dropped it. It's a clear brow mascara. And I'm just going to very nice and easy brush it through. and fill up the wand and do it again on the other side. And the great thing is, is this is water resistant, so if you're crying upside down, your brows are gonna stay in place. Here we go. All right, now before we finish the under eye and ultimately finish this eye look, what we're gonna do is we're going to do the rest of the face first. Um, and this is important because, especially because I'm using black, um, you know, I really, actually, what am I saying? I don't know. That's what I was saying. Okay, yeah, basically like, I like to do my face before I finish the under eye because otherwise you sometimes end up getting foundation into the under eye powder and then it looks just a little funny. So I like to do face and then under eye. So I'm going to go start with the VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer. 
And I am just going to add this all over with some special focus on the under eye for me because my under eye is the most dry. As well as the nose, I have the most texture on my nose. So those are the two places that I like to focus my primer. For foundation, today I'm going to be using the VFX Pro Camera Ready Foundation in the shade number four. This is a really, really nice foundation. It goes on really nicely and smoothly, blurs the lines, blurs the pores, blurs the face, you know. And to apply it, I'm going to be using a beauty blender. I, I actually have a beauty blender. Um, otherwise, any beauty sponge, you can also use brushes however you prefer. I'm just going to start by adding the foundation to the face. And then we're going to start dabbing it into place. If you're using a brush, I pretty much do the same motion. I have other videos where I do use a brush because typically I forget to wet my beauty blender. <laughs> this time I didn't, so I'm using it. Don't forget the neck and the ears. Also, fun tip for beauty blenders or beauty sponges, you have to use them damp anyway. And I learned this one from Robert Welsh. I love him. Um, you have to use a damp beauty blender anyway, so you might as well just wash the beauty blender before you use it. Just put a little soap on it, squeeze it out, and you know, beauty blender is clean. I tried it today and it works like a dream. Now I do have quite a few blemishes, but as you can see it here and here, just that bit of foundation really did a nice job of covering. For my under eyes, I am going to use the Pharmacy Stick Highlight, or not highlight, um, concealer. And I'm just going to apply that to the under eye in these two spots. Because I'm just going for like brightening and hiding those dark circles a little bit. I'm only gonna put it in that area. Now, because it is a little bit heavier, I'm going to let it sit under my eyes um, for a little bit. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my contour now while I wait. For contour, I'm gonna go in with Pharmacy's contour stick and a stippling brush. This one happens to be by Mac Studio. I got it at Marshalls. So I like to, sometimes when I put it on, I like to just pick it up on the brush and just add that to the face. And you're gonna wanna stop about basically where your pupil is. You don't wanna go too far down on your cheeks. The main focus is going up and out. The nice thing about putting the contour on the brush rather than on directly on your face is sometimes maybe if you are a little too heavy handed or it dries down too quickly, you won't have that problem with the pharmacy stick, but if you do use other brands, it might dry down too quickly and then you just have like a line and either you need to start over or you need to try and fix it with other foundation. It can be a mess sometimes, but. And we're gonna add a little bit of color to our forehead and contour, of course, um, just around 
the outside. Again, keeping it with an outward focus. And there is our contour. All right, now we're gonna go in and we're just going to, I am taking a deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to dab that in and then we will drag a little bit under the eye. And again, I forgot to show you the before and after because I wanted to let my concealer kind of um, melt a little bit into the skin, warm up a bit, but I'll show you that another day. You don't have to do the full triangle. You can use minimal product and do it this way as well. There we go. All right, for blush, I packed my blush and have no clue where it is. So because of that, I am going to, sorry, I just blew the extra shadows off of, <laughs> off of here. Um, the shade that I'm gonna go in with from the Iconic palette is shade Passion. And I'm using a multitask brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to pick up some of that. Let me see. And we're gonna apply hopefully very lightly, some blush. And it's got a shimmer to it, so it's gonna be nice and pretty, I hope. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, now we know if you are in a pinch, you can use your eyeshadow palette as a blush. That gives a really nice highlight. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm all excited about that, I'm again going to go in with the Rose Flash Highlight Stick, and I'm going to add a little bit of highlight using a targeted blending brush. We're gonna add that to the outside of the brow bone, to your cheekbone, a little bit to the nose, a little to the cupid's bow, and I also forgot to contour the nose as per usual. right in with the contour just a little bit and we're gonna pick up that stippling brush again and just run that out yahoo all right now here is the intense part that we're going to be doing. We are going to do the under eye. So for the under eye, we're gonna go back in with the Glam Up palette. We are using the shade Noir, and I have a straight edge brush. As you can see, I swatched a couple colors to figure out which one would work for blush. So we're going to dip in the shade Noir, n -n 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 Noir, and we are just going to pack that on the under eye. And right now I am stopping about halfway under the eye. And you can probably see it's a little bit thicker on the outer corner and a little bit thinner as we get to under the pupil. Now I am going to take that targeted blending brush that I was using again, pick up a little bit of Dusty Rose, and I'm just going to blend out 
that black to bring it out and again have more of a soft blended black rather than a harsh line. There we go. To finish the under eye, we are going to go in with the Zen Mascara. I love to use this for my under eye because these short bristles are perfect for getting in there. So you can see, you just add a little bit and you don't get mascara all over. To finish this look off, I am going to use two different lipsticks to ombre. I'm going to use 09 Love Secret by Pharmacy. I'm also going to use Mauve Pink as my ombre number one. So to start, I am going to scrape off any excess because you only need to apply the minimum. And I'm going to add that to the bottom lips, smush them together, and then see it from there. And then we'll fill in the top. All right, now that we have that done, we're going to take a little bit of the shade 01, which is mauve pink, and add just a little bit of that. And it lightened up that color just a little bit. There we go. So to finish her off, we are going to use our Pharmacy Makeup Time Locker Setting Spray. And I have my sleigh fan that I got from the Dollar Tree. We'll take our hair down. And that is the finished look. What do you guys think? Um, first of all, thanks so much for requesting this tutorial. Um, 
I think it turned out really, really well. That highlight is divine. Um, I think it looks great. I'm actually going to be going to a dinner with my best friend to say goodbye, or as the Germans say, actually, Auf Wiedersehen, uh, which means, you know, see you later. Um, so, um, that is the look that I put together for our fancy dinner. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any requests, please let me know as usual. And as you know, practice makes perfect and there's no perfect in makeup. So um, please feel free to tag me if you recreate this look and I will see you next time. Bye!